Well, welcome once again to another episode of Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are the co-founders of AboutBeverages.com, your interactive beverage community and source for the sharing of beverage news, knowledge, and of course, the beverages themselves. And if you want more than just the blog, you can always go to uh, Facebook and become a fan of our page there, which is coincidentally About Beverages, or you can uh, follow us on Twitter, where we do... uh, when we get a chance, we like to tweet a little bit about things we may be enjoying during the week that uh, has not happened to come up on a podcast yet. So what are we uh, trying today? Once again, we've got another uh, beverage that was brought uh, into us by one of our listeners, and you may recognize this name, Erica, brought us... Wait a minute. Uh, Didn't she give us something not a couple Give It a Shots ago? She did. She brought us uh, the uh, the coconut water that we enjoyed so much. She said, here, I want you to try this. You owe me nine ninety five. That's right. <laughs> She brought us this time uh, the Ramune. I'm hope I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. Ramune, which is a soft drink from Japan, which we had just a, a kind of a little fun experience opening that particular soft drink. There's <laughs> yeah. a little bottle. There's a little ball in the top, and it's uh, a marble actually. A little it's marble like a... in there, and then Andrew uh, had, a, had a little uh, soft drink explosion here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was actually. They give you this little. Stop around the top of it, and you take off one of the plastic pieces, and then you jam it down to have the marble push down actually into the soda. And upon doing that, it creates quite a little uh, fizzy explosion. <laughs> yes. We should have had some video at that time, but unfortunately we didn't. We'll be better prepared next time on that. But <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this is this is not something that is completely readily available. It's probably uh, have to a, find it. At, it's more of your kind of uh, probably an Asian specialty store, an yeah, Asian grocery store. But uh, it's in a very interesting looking glass bottle, yeah. and uh, it's a very small portion. It's uh, only six point seven six fluid ounces. There's a neat little story behind this. The the little ball inside the bottle is a collectible item. There's some some different uh, yeah st- stories to this, and we'll post links to that at our blog at aboutbeverages.com, so you can. Can check that out if you want a little more backstory on that. But for now, let's just get to uh, let's get to the actual checking out of this beverage. So the uh, color on this is not unlike you know what color actually I would call this. I would actually uh, say this is uh, vodka in color. <laughs> vodka because it is completely clear. <laughs> it's the color vodka. It's the color yeah. vodka. Yeah, it's completely. But it's carbonated clear. though. It's yes. got some light carbonation. The small bubbles though, not the not the big bubbles you find in a lot of sodas. So all right, uh, aroma. Aroma. We have. Uh, Bubble gum? Bubble gum. <laughs> that's exactly. <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah, that's that's definite bubble gum. That is, yeah, that is super duper bubble that gum. Makes me want to, that makes me want to have some bubble gum. That does. That's a very, that's, a, that's very bubble gummy. It's liquid bubble gum. Genius. That's their new marketing. That Brilliant. Is, yeah, actually, if you if you gelatinize this, it would actually be bubble gum. So, well, let's see if that transfers over to the taste. Not as much. Not as much. It's actually a... Kind of a blend of bubblegum and lime. Yeah, or it's lemon, not as, like a lemon lime, like a Sprite. It's not nearly as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Sprite with bubblegum. <laughs> you used to think that you had to drink your soda and chew gum at the same time to get that sensation. Yeah. Not anymore. Do you remember how difficult that was? <laughs> It's you know, the, it's relatively low in sh- I mean, well, honest, and obviously it's, you know, about half the size, well, a little more than half the size of a can of soda, uh, but the uh, sugar content's only 9.3 grams of sugar. It's not bad, because even so, double that's under 20, and yeah. most, most sodas are over 40. Yeah. It's definitely, yeah, kind of like bubble gum and lemon lime, and this actually probably would be pretty good with some vodka. If you were talking about drink combination things, this would definitely be something, because it's kind of the appropriate size for yeah. have, putting a shot into or a something ra- like that. Ramune and vodka. Yeah. We may have just created something. We may have, or maybe it's already been created. The youngins of today probably (laughs) already come up with that. So, what do you want? I want a vodka ram. Vodka. (laughs) No, that's 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 pretty tasty. Yeah, that was very unique. See, I I like this when our listeners are interacting with us and they're giving us things to try, and we let them know the things that uh, we think that they should try and give a shot to. It uh, it's very nice. So, Eric, why we do this? You're a uh, a repeat uh, sample provider. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, (laughs) doesn't sound right. (laughs) So thanks again, Erica, for uh, for providing us with something that was completely different for me. Yeah, and now for something completely That's different. Right. A little Monty Python reference there. But whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. Give it a shot. 